British couple is taking legal action against a government adoption agency for alleged discrimination. Rena and Sandeep Mander say they were told they couldn't adopt because the available babies were white and they're of Indian heritage. Charlie Daggett has spoke to the couple about their difficulty trying to start a family. He is in London. Charlie, good morning. Good morning. It's hard to think of a couple more suited for adoption than the Manders. We visited them at home, both successful professionals, big house with plenty of empty bedrooms, and yet they were discouraged to even try, they say, because of the color of their skin. Nice to have About the only day. thing missing in Rena and Sandeep uh, Manders' life is a child to share it with. Not just, oh, we want to have a family, we want to have a child, but also to, to do, some, do some good as well, to, you know, give a child a loving home. Heaven knows they've tried. Rena underwent no less than 16 rounds of IVF treatments. Well, we did get pregnant once. Unfortunately, I miscarried at 10 weeks. 10 weeks. Yeah, so After it, six yeah, years of heartbreak, of trying and failing, they decided to adopt. But when they contacted the local government's adoption agency, Sandeep said he was told he shouldn't bother to apply. You're not going to be prioritized here, so you should probably go and look elsewhere. Um, that they was surprising. They told you to look elsewhere? Yeah, because uh, their view is that there's a, there's a lack of children in the system, and the children that they've got tend to be white. So. Uh, they would have many white stroke European adopters available uh, for um, that are looking for children, so we wouldn't be prioritized. In short, white babies go first to white couples, though the Manders say they didn't care what color their baby would be. So you were, yeah. you were pushed to the back of the line. Yeah, right yeah. at the start. So this is, this is even the ability to apply. Really In fact, they say they were advised to try India, even though Sandeep and Rena are both proudly British, born and raised. Neither even has family there. I just felt as though everything we'd been through, this was another obstacle. It, was, it wasn't just an obstacle, it was preventing you from moving on at all. There was no, you know, for me, there was, it was like, where do we turn now? This wasn't a hurdle, this is a brick wall. Yes, exactly. Their local politician, Theresa May, who has since become prime minister, wrote a letter of support on their behalf. The couple has now filed legal action against the adoption agency claiming racial discrimination. The agency denies discrimination, saying they properly take into account the profile of children available for adoption, and given the disparity between the large number of prospective parents and small number of adoptees, it's appropriate to prioritize those who have the best chance of adopting a child. It is absolutely considered best practice and ethical to take race into account. That's different than saying it's the controlling factor. Adam Pertman is the author of Adoption Nation and president of the U.S. National Center for Adoption and Permanency. I think we live in a culture where we understand race can be an issue. But in child placement and child welfare in this country and by law in Great Britain, this is not supposed to happen. Rena says it's the only time in her life she's ever been made to feel different. They're now planning to adopt a child from the United States, where they have family and a new reason to hope. Only when we are coming back from the U.S. on an aeroplane with that child in the hands and all the paperwork and everything else, only I think then I will it will, it will actually sink in. Before then, you know, mm. it's going to be a turbulent journey. A journey that may finally have a happy ending. Now, we have to point out here that nine months after they were first turned away, the Manders did receive notice that circumstances had changed and there may have been children available after all. But by then, they were already in the process of adopting in the U.S. Nora? Oh boy. Charlie, thank you. Well, wow. Boy. There's nothing worse than wanting a child and not being able to yes. have one and then adopt and... And the agency would rather the baby not have a home than to go to a home with parents that really want you and love really you. want you. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense, UK. Yeah. yeah. But it sounds like the story's going to have a happy ending yes. for them. Yeah. We will update you on what happens there.